Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a web application and we have added the dependencies and we have added the two properties. And also we have created two JSPs and we have tested our application. So in this video, we are going to fetch the database records and display it in a table format. So let's get started. I'm going to expand the project and let me go to the controller class. I'll open the employee controller. First, we need to get the database records from the database. We have already written a method, service method to get the list of employees. So I'll make use of the employee service. And uh, I'm going to call the get method, which will give us the list of employees. If you haven't checked out my previous video series, then go ahead and check out that because in that video series, I have written the DAO methods and the service methods. So I'm not going to cover those two concepts, the service methods and the DAO methods. Uh, go ahead and check out those tutorials. The link will be given in the description section. So I'm going to call the get method, which will give us the list of employees. Now let me call model and view and I'll add it to the model object. So I'll take this. the key would be list you can give any name you want let's save this and i'll open the gsp go to the source open the main go to the web app go to the web nf open the views and open the employees list and first we need to include the jstl tag library uri i have already copied in a notepad so copy the URI and I'll paste it above the JSP and now I'm going to create a table inside the table I'm going to create a row inside the row I'll create a table header or the table heading I'll copy this the column names name gender department and date of birth now we'll make use of for each inside the c for each loop i'll create a table row inside the table row i'm going to create a table description i'll copy this and I'll paste it four times and uh, inside the for each I'll, I'll specify two attributes one is items the second one is variable name the variable name would be e which stands for employee and the items uh, if you see the employee controller we have we are adding the list of employees to the model attribute and we are giving the name as list. So we're going to use the same name and we will specify inside the items. The way to specify inside the items is curly braces and within the, within the curly braces, we will specify the name, which is a list. So this list holds the list of employees that we are adding to this model attribute. Now using this variable, we will fetch the name, gender, date of birth and department. So within the curly braces, dollar, within the curly braces, we'll make use of the variable name, which is E. And in order to fetch the employee name, we will make use of the name property. And this name, which is coming from this model, which is an employee model. And we need to use the same properties in order to fetch the employee details. So dollar within the curly braces e dot gender e dot department e dot 
date of birth let's save this I'm going to run the application you can see in the console the application is started okay the application is started in a uh, port 8080 I'll go to the Chrome browser and I'll reload the web page you can see that the employee records are displaying in a table right now we have not specify a border to the table so I'll go ahead and I'll specify the border for the table border is equal to one let's save this and if you see the database right now we have only one record in the database so reload the web page you can see that the table with a border so the record has been displaying in a table format so that's all about this video in the next video we are going to provide a button just below the table and when the user click the button it is navigating to the employee or in another JSP where the user can add or enter the employee details so that is coming up in the next video thank you so much for watching if you still not subscribed to our youtube channel go ahead and click the subscribe button just below the video and uh, be a part of the channel